hi everyone welcome back um so for today's video i'm going to be doing a little bit of a first impressions on a bag that i recently purchased and that is this cute bag right here this is the coach courier bag in crocodile and the color i believe is in cornflower with the gunmetal hardware um so if you are interested in a review or i should say a first impressions on this cute little bag um please do stay tuned and just a full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag-related content. When it comes to the courier bag in the crocodile leather, as you can see, it's a pretty simple handbag. There's really not a lot of hardware or any details to this bag. Um, it's all really subtle, which I really like and super subdued. So it really focuses on the leather of the bag. So as you can see, um, the leather that they chose for this bag too is interesting. I want to say if you've seen any of the alligator pieces, those items are very glossy in my opinion, and they have a very like high shine or polished look to it while this particular bag here in the Cayman leather I believe that's what it is um is a little bit more matte and it's not very shiny I feel like there is a slight polished gloss to it um to highlight some of the scales but other than that it's very you know simple and not very like showy like the alligator pieces on the front of the bag you'll notice that there is a flap style closure and the flap just feeds through this um leather plate right here which is the same um as the body of the bag and here's what it looks like when the flap is not feeding through it it is just a leather panel there and it is going to be kind of like hollowed back here so the flap can feed through the front on the back of the bag there is also going to be a magnetic slip pocket so as you can see there is a pocket there and it is going to be magnetic which i really like and the magnet is also really strong as well so you can definitely hear it when it's opening and closing um, the inside is lined in leather and it is going to be in the honey color um, so that's what it kind of looks like and there is going to be that little magnetic button right there and on the opposite side it does have a little bit of a blue leather trim the bag itself does feature a longer crossbody strap as well and it is going to be removable and also adjustable as well so as you can see here on the side there are large buckles that are in the gunmetal hardware and on the strap itself there are going to be i believe four adjustments on each side so you can definitely make it as long or as short to your desired length and it is a very substantial shoulder strap as well so when you do carry it over the shoulder or crossbody um the weight is very well distributed which i really like the top of the strap is going to be in the alligator leather so or in this case crocodile leather um so you can kind of see there on the strap itself and then on the underneath portion is just going to be the same kind of like blue accent leather and like i mentioned earlier this is in the color cornflower on one of the sides of the bag you'll notice that there is going to be a small little d-ring as well which is where the hang tag attaches and on the front of the hang tag it is going to have the horse and carriage logo on the front it is crocodile leather on the front and then on the back it is going to be plain um there is no um engravings or anything so you definitely have this hang tag monogrammed um but for this purpose i will be keeping the hang tag as is on the bottom of the bag there is going to be no feet however you will notice that it is a pretty wide base here so you can fit a lot of items which i'll show in a second um but like i mentioned there is going to be no feet on the bottom of this bag and there is also a seam right there down the bottom um where the two panels of leather do meet up and then on the side too you'll also notice that there are gussets for the compartments on the interior so there is a little bit of blue leather that is um hidden right here on the front and back of the bag. On the inside of the bag it is going to be lined in the smooth glove tan leather and this is in the color honey and this is a typical like lining color for coach handbags um so it is this kind of like warm toned brown kind of like a slight yellow undertone to it um and then on the interior here it does have a large central compartment so you have a little snap pocket here on one side that is going to be lined in the fabric material and then you have a zipper pocket there um, which also is lined in fabric as well and this zipper is a hardware zipper so you can see the metal teeth on that and then a story patch back there 
on the front portion of the bag, you do get a little compartment that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And same for the back as well, you do get a little back slip compartment back there. Um, but other than that, the interior of the bag is a pretty simple layout. So now I want to show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of this bag. And here is just like a couple of items. So first is going to be a little nylon pouch from Kate Spade. Next is a little coin pouch from Coach, and this is in the cross grain leather in the color Marshmallow. And this just really holds receipts in miscellaneous paperwork stuff. Next is another little pouch, and this is a mini skinny in the signature um, embossed leather. And this really holds the change in cash, and it's in like a really fun taupe color with the silver hardware. Next is a phone charging cable with no cube, so this is semi-pointless, um, but it's there. And then I have my car keys. I have my demonstration phone. This is the iPhone XR. Um, it's basically the same size as the um, iPhone 13, and then I'm pretty sure the 14 as well. I have no clue. Um, but it's a pretty standard size iPhone. It has a slim black case on it and a little pop socket. And last is my little card case from Chanel. This is in a really fun pink color, and um, it's like the standard quilted design. Design. So here's all the items inside of the bag. So in this bag compartment, I don't really have anything. Um, I usually keep like receipts or small papers that I collect throughout the day and I'll stick them back here. Um, but for today's purposes, I don't have anything back here. Um, in the central compartment is where all my main items are. So I have all the, the little stuff in there. And then I don't have anything in the zipper pocket or the slip pocket. Um, so that will be zipped closed and the snap pocket will be closed as well. I'll sometimes put small stuff again in there, but for today's purposes, there's nothing. And in the front compartment, I actually do have my wallet and that just fits really nicely in there and it doesn't um, really bulge out on the front of the bag. So I'll close it and you'll see that there's really no distortion or warping of the bag. And there is that. And then in the back compartment is actually where I'll stick my phone. So this is a really generous back pocket. Um, I don't feel like it's stretching or warping the back section here. So I just have my phone horizontal like this and you can also put it vertically as well, just like that. So my first impressions on this bag is that I really like it a lot. And originally I didn't really care for the courier style just because they've had a couple renditions of this bag. Um, the first go around I believe was a part of the Rodarte collection, which was I think back in 2017 or 18. And those were a little bit different. They had the um, clasp on the sides so the newer ones now will have this buckle detailing here um the older ones just had like a larger lobster claw clasp so they were actually a lot more practical in that sense just because you could have removed the strap and added on your own bag strapped or for storage purposes you could just completely remove the strap and just um like unclip it and then just like tucked it away this is a little bit harder just because you have to constantly undo the buckle and redo the buckle when you want to use this bag and then store the strap so it's a little bit more tedious and but it's not too bad um but the newer styles like i said are going to have these buckles here um and on that note um i really just didn't love the courier style just because i don't think it was really me at the time i just felt it was a really retro bag and i want to say the courier came out like the 70s or the 80s if i'm not mistaken if you're like a vintage coachy um leave a comment down below if you know the exact date of the courier bag but i want to say it's the 70s i might be wrong um so it just felt really retro however something about this bag and the crocodile and the blue leather just really this really all looked really cool and then I also was just really in the mood to buy something so I just bought it um, but overall I have been really enjoying this bag. The other thing too that was kind of like a surprise in regards to this bag is definitely the color. I am somebody who's really not the biggest fan of the color blue. Personally I don't have a lot of blue handbags in my collection. The only exception I really make is for denim and for me denim counts as a neutral so in regards to things like jeans or like a denim purse like that field toe, I personally find that the same as kind of like wearing a black, brown, or white handbag. Like those are neutral colors and I feel like denim works really well in that kind of family. If that makes sense, like it's just like a neutral. Um, so that's like the only, really only kind of like shade of blue I wear despite this shirt which is really funny that I don't wear blue, but hello, there's this t-shirt here. Um, but other than that, I was kind of surprised about this bag just because it's a very light, dusty blue color. Um, but I will say the ring light is kind of washing it out a bit. It is a really pretty, like, light 
Robin's egg blue. I don't know how many times can I say blue in this segment here um but I will say I do really like this color a lot and I even called my friend too on the day of me like buying this bag and she's not a handbag person at all and she thought the color was great and she also loved the silhouette too so coming from a non-handbag person saying that they love this bag and saying it's super cute you know just kind of confirms it so um, yeah, kind of a surprise purchase there, but overall, not too bad. And the very last thing I just want to note, too, is that when it comes to, like, the functionality and practicality of this bag, I do sometimes have the bag, like, fully closed like this. So, on some days, I just make a very conscious effort to constantly close this bag. But there are other days I'm just, like, running to get groceries or something. I'll just have the bag undone, usually. And it's not too bad. Like, the flap itself is pretty substantial, where it will still close. Um, so it doesn't, like, flop around. And when it comes to like the organization too, I really like the fact that this bag does have three compartments on the inside so I can really organize my stuff. I like that the middle compartment has those two extra pockets too, being that little snap and the zip pocket there um, on the back. And then on top of that too, this back pocket is amazing. So sometimes I'll just throw my keys, my card case, and even my like um, phone back here. So I'll have everything that I need back here and just use this back portion of the bag and never even have to like open the bag to get my stuff. So I do like that a lot. That does it for today's video over the Courier bag in the color Cornflower and Crocodile Leather. If you guys have any more questions about this bag, just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out or you can also message me on Instagram as well. And I can try to help you out that way. Um, but if you did like today's video on this cute little bag, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!